So I'd like to talk a little bit about open ID connect interrupt phase one. I have put it phase one because we are continuing doing it. That's all today, yeah. Okay. Overview. So target was open ID connect basic client one point zero, basically. So we were just checking whether those multiple implementations that I have listed down here, Google, John Ray, and or America, and I told you, no, uh, that's all. One open source implementation based on Jack and Ruby on Rails. And we also think one is on PHP. <coughs> on the, whether they can emit or consume uh, user, user info, I mean, access token, the access to the user info endpoint, as well as ID token. And uh, the little table on the side is showing how it went. And the you know, top to the bottom is actually showing the right parties. And uh, across is showing a bunch of IDPs, Google, Nobis, or Bureau's one, DDOPs, and all right characters, and NRIs. And we were testing against user info endpoint and ID token uh, check, check session endpoint as well. And as uh, you can see, almost all of those oh, work okay. And uh, the Google hasn't yet uh, supported check session endpoint, but I hear that it's coming uh, almost now. And I'm pretty sure that they're going to work okay because uh, in all this work just started less than a week ago. And we have very few glitches there. And that's showing how easy it is to implement what that connect. And I could do some demo, but do you want to see something? <laughs> Japanese characters, and it comes from 
the reason why I just use nonce implementation is that it's just showing the row response. So it's getting it's getting these uh, user info and point response <coughs> in the JSON format, which is very similar to what you have seen in past presentation. And this is the actual ID of Right, so now going back to what is my my PowerPoint. So going forward, we have already kind of started phase two of the window in the sense. That as of this morning, Calvin Andreas uh, from Norway is actually is working on testing for the RSA signature for the request and responses. And uh, we are going to start testing against the Open ID Connect standard specification. And hopefully we can do it in completely in December timeframe. That's what we are shooting. So that's my presentation. Well, can you clarify the, the one dot uh, Would you consider that secure protocols? How is security uh, provided in terms of the kind of uh, How do you ensure that the task tokens are not being altered in the middle of the attack? All those stuff. We're using Jolt and JWS. JWS is JSON web signature. And you, you know, you can pick what the, you know, the the algorithms that you want to use. I, you, know, you, you can pick from RSA or ECD, ESA or you know, HMAC. And if you're using public key signatures, so all of those kind of delegated to someone was another mechanism that looks after the security transport. Your standard no. that except does not implicitly define it. We are defining it. We are using JWT, JWS as our protocol. As part of your spec. That's right. So this addition but, uh, of RSA signature, why is it a big deal? It's just adding the RSA signature. Now the basic uh, spec, the basic client spec, doesn't talk about this. Only the standard. For the basic client, they just pit it against the ID token and check session ID endpoint, and it spits, it spits the JSON response back. It doesn't have to know about the crypto. So in the basic profile, the security basically degrades or degenerates to that TLS security, um, which may or may not be a good thing depending upon your point of view and recent events. Um, for the RP can, can elect to use higher security in the, in the spec and say, I want it signed or asymmetrically signed rather than relying directly on TLS security and shared secrets that are negotiated. So we, we have mechanisms for much higher security where keys are negotiated out of band or through metadata, but that's probably overkill for the vast majority of online parties. So, We've also, in JWT, we also support full turkey. So in principle, if you were a man, a man team government agency or the NSA, you could do all the way to LOA 4. We don't expect that there's going to be a big demand for that, but it's possible. What I'm trying to understand is, uh, is the whole handling of security, as I put it, it's a rally to something else, which is not even a stat agency. It is. Or is there is a set itself defining specifically endorsed way of doing it. The spec details a number of ways of doing it that are appropriate for different scenarios. So not all of the ways of doing it are required. So if you're if you only need the simple way of doing it, you only have to implement the simple way of doing it. So, so it passes over. Yeah, so it's it's a, I think it's a good idea to profile it if you want to make sure that only higher security and demand that in the new trust framework. Any other questions?
All right, thanks very much. Thank you, Matt.